Once they asked Śrīla Prabhupāda, what is our qualification to receive the highest siddhānta? Prabhupāda was honest. He said, you have no qualification. I made your qualification. The only qualification is that you have accepted this message from me. And then Srila Prabhupada went on to explain that his only qualification was he was simply repeating the words of his spiritual master without adding or subtracting anything. Amongst yogic societies and religions today, especially in India and all over the world, people put their faith simply in a personality because of that person's charisma or perhaps because that person has an eloquent ability to speak or because the person is a very charming smile or very kind and gentle. But that is not the real path of truth. Krishna tells us, evam parampara praptam idam rajarshanabhutam. Prabhupada said his only qualification is he is simply repeating the words of his spiritual master. And because he was repeating those words so perfectly through his life and his teachings, that was our only qualification to receive. Srila Prabhupada spent a major portion of his time in India and most of his time in Bombay. He had a very, very deep and profound desire that all of you take to Krishna Consciousness and help spread this great mission. And on the basis of his desire, your hearts have been transformed. Srila Prabhupada very much wanted the people of India to take the path of bhakti within their hearts and share it with others. He appealed, he begged, and on the basis of his humble appeal, you have all come. My great fortune is by Srila Prabhupada's inconceivable mercy. He's allowing me to assist you in your wonderful service to him. And I feel honestly an eternal debt to all of you because in allowing me to assist you, you are giving me the most profound joy of rendering some service to our beloved Guru Maharaj. Srila Prabhupada is very great. Really, I don't know Srila Prabhupada. I know he's Paramhamsa. I know he's Shaktivesh Avatar. I know he saved my life. 
But I am small, and he is great. But in serving his servants, I could feel his mercy showering upon us. So I thank you for that gift. The International Society for Krishna Consciousness is Prabhupada's family. He said that he shed buckets of blood to bring devotees to this mission. Iskan is Srila Prabhupada's life's offering to his Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. Years ago, by inconceivable will of providence, the small temple of Radha Gopinath and its various affiliations were at least externally not within the ISKCON society. But when the sweet will of Srila Prabhupada manifested in a special way, we were invited to come back. And we had a meeting with all our congregation. It was about one-fourth of the people in this room today. And there was a discussion whether we should accept this offer. <clears throat> and there was so many reasons why and so many reasons why not. And then after so many people spoke, by the kindness of the devotees, they asked for my opinion. I revealed my heart. There may be many problems within ISKCON that we're going to have to personally be a part of. And our community is very small and simple and problems are very small and simple and you have all expressed so many reasons, so many concerns. However, there's one reason why I feel we should and as far as I'm concerned, compared to this reason, all other reasons and arguments are irrelevant and non-existent. That reason is, it would be what Srila Prabhupada wants us to do. Yasya prasada bhagavat prasada, yasya prasada nagati kuto. We are simply living, existing, to, to assist him, to please him, to serve his servants. Whether we succeed or fail in our practical projects is not what is all important, but whether our sincerity to please him is real, that is all important. You were listening to Radhanath Swami on devotionalnectar.com.